how to install a fresh copy of Lion or Mountain Lion. Please note that this procedure will wipe out all the data on your hard disk. Press and hold the option key. Keep holding it down. Now press the power button just once. Keep holding down the option key while the unit powers up. This will bring you to the startup manager. Here you can pick your startup disk. If your Mac is 2011 or newer, you will have a recovery partition. You can use the recovery partition, the DVD drive, or a USB drive to install a new OS X. We'll be using the USB drive option. To find out how to make a bootable USB drive, log on to AppleDollars.com or click here. After inserting the USB drive, it'll show up on the manager. Go ahead, select it, and press return. It can take 5 to 20 minutes to load the graphical user interface used to install OS X. Please be patient. Once loaded, go ahead and select your language and click the next arrow. Select Disk Utility and click Continue. We'll need to prepare the drive for the installation, so we'll need to format it. Select the drive that you want to install the OS X onto. Now go ahead and select the Partition option. Select Singular Partition Layout. You can now rename the drive that's going to be holding your operating system. Traditionally, it's called Macintosh HD. Here we called it OS X Mountain Lion SSD. After formatting it, hit Options and make sure GUID Partition Table is selected. Now hit Apply and Partition. The GUID Partition Table has to be installed, otherwise it will not show up in the installer. You can now select Reinstall OS X and click Continue. Click Continue again agree to the agreement and select the GUID partition drive. Click install. This process can be quite lengthy anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. This is where your USB installation image is being transferred onto your hard drive. Only on Lion and Mountain Lion installations can you re remove the USB drive after the first reboot. After the first reboot the Mac will expand the installation image that was transferred from the USB drive. This can take 30 to 60 minutes to complete. Again, it's a lengthy process, so please be patient. After the installation is complete, the Mac will reboot itself. After this, you are completely done installing the operating system. If you're doing this for a client, you can go ahead and force shut down the computer. Otherwise, we can set up the first user. Go ahead and select other network options and select my computer does not connect to the internet. Click continue. Accept the terms and the agreement. Pick a username. For this instance, we'll select user. For the password, we'll select 1234 and we'll verify it. Then for the password hint, we'll select 1234 with multiple dots following it click continue set the time zone automatically and turn on location services once the Mac is on Wi-Fi this option will allow it to set its time correctly that's it you're done you can now go ahead and connect to your network this will allow you to look at the specs on this MacBook choose your network type in the password go in the top left Apple logo and click about this Mac. Here you'll find information about your specific MacBook model. This concludes this fresh OS X installation. Thank you for watching.